Here at home less than an hour ago, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis spoke on the impact the surge of Omicron cases is having on the state. The governor calling on the federal government to purchase more monoclonal antibody treatments, saying until there are more supplies, there is a crunch on treatment here in Florida. News 6's Nadine Yanez is live from the testing center at Barnett Park. Nadine, what did the governor have to say about the demand for COVID-19 testing? Well, Happy New Year, Crystal. This was the first time that Governor Ron DeSantis has had a news conference since December 17th by our records. He hasn't been seen during the holidays or speaking to the public, but now we're hearing how the state is planning to respond to this Omicron surge. This while testing demand, I have to say, is literally the longest we have ever seen it here. Uh, take a look. This video was a video that I took this morning as we we're on our way to Barnett Park, and I have never seen it this long. The line not just coming out to Colonial, but but it's now stretching nearly a mile all the way down to John Young Parkway. Orange County has opened up new sites over the holidays. They have reached capacity daily, trying to keep up with that testing demand. The mayor calling on DeSantis to open up state run testing sites. The same coming from many Florida Democrats asking for more testing availability to be uh, brought to the state. However, there was really no word on his press conference today regarding additional testing sites from the governor. In fact, here is what the governor had to say in regards to the need for more testing. So there is a crunch on this and that's just going to be uh, the reality until we get the federal government to start sending more down. Uh, Dr. Latipo is working on providing some testing guidance about about who should be testing. I mean, you want to test in order to uh, get a clinical outcome. And so the governor, before he had mentioned about the crunch on this, had said that he's waiting on the federal government to deliver on their promise of sending millions of home tests. And that's where he was shifting the blame earlier today. The purpose of this news conference was to say that he did secure 30 to 40,000 new doses of monoclonal antibody treatments. They will be reopening state monoclonal antibody treatment sites that should be coming down soon, first down in South Florida. And then he did mention ultimately in Central Florida, but no date yet. So so we're getting a first snapshot on how the state plans to respond to Omicron this morning from the governor. And we'll have much more at News 6 starting at 4. Back to you. Important information there. Thank you so much, Nadine.